I don't think the orangs necessarily believe in sharing. I think it depends on what you're giving them and who's got what. I think it's every orang for themselves, really. Sure you don't want to hunt? I'm sure. <laughs> to try and encourage some seasonal goodwill, keepers have come up with a plan. Ho, ho, ho. That's two. This year we've created Hessian sacks that are basically replicating Christmas stockings for the orangutans. So we've put each orang's name on each different sack, all in a different colour, and we put some little bits of food in there. They're going to enjoy these. Hopefully we'll come and steal them all. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> they'll all get one each or a little bit of a share of everyone. A bit of a Christmas challenge, really. There's always hope that you could be lucky and everyone would get a stocking and everyone would pick the one with their name on it. It'd be nice to see. But, yeah, in reality, that's probably not going to happen. At Christmas, there's always one youngster who gets up before the rest of the family. Indar was the first out, and she went to the first stocking that was available, which actually had Pulu's name on it. She went diving in, trying to grab as much stuff as possible. You know, they're bright animals. If they sense there's something good in there, then, you know, they're not daft. They'll figure it out and get the good stuff that's in there. But eight-year-old Indar is not interested in having just one stocking. I think the orangs are opportunists, so if they, you know, find something good in one, I don't see any reason why they won't try and stash as many as they can for themselves. They've got no shame. <laughs> After 15 minutes, Indar has worked her way through almost all of the sacks. Yeah, after Indar had been through all the stockings, she definitely looked like a kid at Christmas. When the other apes finally emerge, Indar decides to beat a hasty retreat. So it was a little bit of time before the others came out and obviously Indar had rampaged through all the stockings by this point so there was a lot less of the good stuff left in and I imagine that they were probably annoyed that they hadn't been quicker out. Not Christmassy at all. Indar appears to have got away with it. Leaving the other apes to fight it out for the leftovers. It was a bit of a typical family Christmas. The youngsters were more interested in the packaging than what was inside the packaging. 